Let's think about the closing entries for a few moments. So start off naturally in the general journal. You're going to have a date and that date for closing entries is going to be June the 30th. Then you first off you want to clear out your revenue items. So what are you going to do? You're going to debit some type of revenue account. There it might be you know, sales, whatever it would be. Now you'll have an amount. Well this will be this column here will be the reference column. And this is your posting reference. So when you post it you enter the information in there. Then we have the debit column. The debit column and the credit column. We have two debits. No, I don't. I'll leave the two. I'll take those two debits out. So you've debit your revenue, some amount. Let's say that's fifty thousand dollars. Let's say it's five thousand dollars. Then you'll credit a number of accounts which would be the contra accounts to revenue so you think of those and you would put these in the order they appear in the chart of accounts so you might have your sales returns and allowances your uh, bad debt expense um, and any discount that you have allowed Now, to empty these out, they be all have debit balances, so they'll all be credit accounts. So maybe you had uh, $100 of returns. Just moving slowly. Um, $250 of bad debt expense. And you allowed discount of $150. Now that's all the contra accounts to revenue. Then what would come next? Well, clearly they've got to go into the income summary. So you're emptying all your revenue items into the income summary. And the income summary is going to be $4,500. So that your debits add up to your credits. Then you'll put a, a comment. Closing entries for income and income contra accounts and the journal reference you know in our case could be the general journal or the 10th one could be something like G10 then you go to the next item and you're going to be there again it will be June it will be 30 and this time the income summary will come first because you're going to empty expenses into income summary. Now there's a few different ways this could have been laid out but the general theme we've been pushing is to put things in account number order so you will put all the items in here account number order so you'll have um, all your expense type items and one of them clearly has a contra associated with it and then the rest of the expenses then you go down and put in your comments and the reference here. And you continue on with that process. See some of the other videos on closing. Now some other things I'll point out is when you post to the general ledger and only when do you post to the general ledger. You indicate you have posted these journals to the general ledger by putting the account number in here. So this might be um, revenue 401. That means you've gone over, you've entered this item in the general ledger. Five minutes under. Bye.